Hey everybody, today is April 6th, and what I'd like us to talk about today is a theme of our own personal testimony and our witness to the work of Jesus Christ in our lives and in the work of the Orthodox Church. As I'm looking around at my friends' feeds on the internet and seeing the various things that their faith communities are doing in the midst of our separation and isolation during COVID, I'm impressed by the different ways that people testify to the work of Christ in their lives, or the way that their various churches are reaching out to people distant from them, away from the body and the life of the church. Some of the things that we've been seeing on the internet is ways that uh, there have been priests on trucks carrying icons and blessing people as they're going past or the various ways that people are even celebrating birthdays these days, uh, just showing that they care by doing caravans of uh, waving at their friends, or uh, staying connected through letter writing or through Zoom meetings. There's all these different ways that people are being creative to show that they love someone and care about them. And for us as Christians, we should also be thinking about how we recognize God's love and care for us and the way that God has worked in our life in the past and in the present. When we're looking at our reading today from Isaiah, we see that Isaiah is quoting something that happened earlier in the Old Testament. So in Isaiah 48, 21, it says, they did not thirst when, they, when he led them through the deserts. He made water flow for them from the rock. He split the rock and the water gushed out. And there he's quoting uh, Numbers 20, 11. It says, when Moses raised his hand and struck the rock twice with his staff, so that a great amount of water gushed out, and the congregation and their livestock were able to drink. So we see a lot of times in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, there's always a hearkening back, a looking backward at how God has done something miraculous, or how God has done something and shown his faithfulness to his community and to his people. We see in the New Testament, oftentimes it talks about uh, things that happened in scripture or the importance of scripture in the lives of, of the people. And it's always referring to the Old Testament. So something that God has done far, far in the past, but has shown his faithfulness to his people. And as Orthodox Christians, we remember all the various saints and different actions that God has shown his love and his devotion to his church. So now that we're in the 21st century and we're separated from our church communities physically, we're being called to remember how has God worked in your life and how has God worked in the Orthodox Church to bless you and to bring his presence into your life. Now, I can think personally on how God has worked in my life, how in the moment, in the present of pain and suffering and different turmoils that I've experienced, I might not be able to necessarily see how God is working. But in my working to reach out to God and to pour out my heart to Him and to be raw and vulnerable with God, I've seen how in those moments God gives me peace and God helps me to redirect my life towards Him and away from anxiety and fear. And then fast forwarding, when you look back at those things and say, wow, God really was guiding me through this moment in my life. God really was able to direct me away from this path into a better path that had better outcomes. Um, and it's really a, a blessing for us as Christians to be able to do that, to be able to look back at this unbroken continuity of God's faithfulness to us through the church and before that, through the experience of the Jewish people, through the people of God before that in Israel. So I'd like you today to think on how God, specifically how Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, how the Holy Trinity has blessed you, how God has worked in your life, how you have experienced his presence in the church, and how you're encountering him today, how you're working to find the presence of the Lord in your life. So I'd like you to think a little bit about that today and reflect on that as we look through our daily readings and as we're getting ever so closer to Holy Week. 
we have uh, our Western brothers and sisters celebrating Holy Week this week. And for us, we will start this coming Saturday with Lazarus Saturday. So we have one week left of Lent and then one week of Holy Week and then we're at Pascha. So we're very close and um, I hope that I will see you again tomorrow as we reflect on our daily readings. Amen.